Welcome back. After back-to-back -back road games, Ohio State finishing the regular season with back-to-back -back home games with Indiana and that's school up north. Hoosiers winless in the Big Ten, but they do have a win over SEC East leading Missouri to their credit. Who knows how this one will turn out? Well, guess what Ohio State announcing before the game? Next week, Troy Smith's name and his number 10 will be forever displayed in the shoe. Buckeyes ball first and they waste no time. Fourth play from scrimmage. Ezekiel Elliott needed just 46 yards to hit 1,000 on the season. Gets 65 here and a touchdown. OSU up 7-0. Elliott, 107 yards on the day. Later in the first, fourth and short. That's JT Barrett connecting with Jeff Howerman. Four yards score, 14-0 Buckeyes, and the route is on. Or is it? Three OSU turnovers lets Indiana back into the game. Third quarter, Hoosiers down just one. Tevin Coleman gone, 90 yards. Hoosiers leading at this point, 20 to 14. Coleman had 228 yards on the ground. Late third, Indiana punting from their own end zone. Able to get it away, Jalen Marshall, despite his troubles last week holding on to the ball, back for the Buckeyes, and his aggressiveness pays off. Redshirt freshman takes it all the way back for a touchdown and the 54-yard punt return. Buckeyes back in front to stay. Marshall just getting started early in the fourth. OSU threatening. Shovel pass to Marshall in 31st touchdown pass of the year for Barrett, a new OSU record. Back at it, Bucks the 15. Barrett goes back to Marshall, another touchdown. Ohio State up 35 to 20. Marshall would add a fourth touchdown, a 54 yard catch on a shovel pass. OSU allows a late score and wins 42 to 27 to claim the Big Ten East Division title. Marshall, four touchdowns, 95 yard receiving. Mark Koontz and Mike Miller were there and have more. Thank you, Patrick. Well, you know, there was very slick road conditions on the way into Columbus today. And, well, for most of this game, it looked like Ohio State, that would be a perfect metaphor for their season as they were spinning their tires throughout the second and third quarters and nearly went off into a ditch. But ultimately, they pulled off the victory thanks in part to four touchdowns from Jalen Marshall. If there's an effort problem, Jalen Marshall won't play. I mean, that's not an effort issue with him. He's a talented guy, and I think uh, uh, that was good for his confidence. He's going to be around here a while. He's only a freshman. And very talented freshman. And he's, he's carrying a lot of the load now. You know, that was position was banned by uh, him and Dante, and now it's all him. And that's what we look for at that position. A guy that you do those little flips to and a uh, dynamic guy. He is very satisfied, you know, but I mean, I'm not satisfied with the season yet. You know, but it does feel good, you know, kind of have that barrier off my back and all the negative, you know, the things I've got toward me. But uh, it is satisfying that I got that out Mike Miller from WIMA 1150, our Buckeye Insider, joins us now. And Mike, certainly Jalen Marshall might be synonymous with redemption after what he did today compared to what happened a week ago in Minnesota from the redshirt freshman from Middleton. Well, you're absolutely right, Mark. You know, it couldn't happen to a nicer guy, but, uh, you know, for those that have followed him through his relatively youthful career at Ohio State, uh, it's not that surprising. He has that sort of playmaking ability, but just to put it together really is what I think Coach Meyer and Coach Herman were looking for from that H-back position. This was maybe a prototypical day from that position that we frankly hope to see more of. I think if you could use two words to sum up this game for Ohio State, they might be inconsistent and conservative. Yeah. Conservative approach offensively, inconsistent performance defensively. Yeah, I would say you're absolutely right. A conservative, but maybe forced to be conservative a little bit after a, after a fast start for the Buckeyes, gave them that two-score lead, then a couple of turnovers, uh, the fumble and then the interception. You do things like that, and it, it changes your approach, and I think it definitely changed Ohio State's offensive approach through through the duration of the second quarter and in, in terms of defense, uh, a pretty good performance for, for Ohio State, but a couple of breakdowns that kept the Hoosiers in the game. Buckeyes got the victory. Ultimately, that's what's important, but we'll find out on Tuesday night how much this is going to cost Ohio State in terms of the perception and the college football playoff committee. Guys, back to you.